Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make our family favorite chili. It's also peanut, tree nut, dairy and egg free and my kids really enjoy this recipe. So let's get started. that we're going to be using for today's chili. So we've got a pound of lean ground beef. Then we're going to be using uh, a small onion. We've got two cans of the Heinz beans, the original and tomato sauce. And then we've also got the Unicole diced tomatoes. Uh, we're going to be using some chili powder and some garlic powder. Since I don't have a fresh garlic on hand, we're just going to be using the garlic powder for today. Um, and that's everything that you're going to need. It's uh, quick and easy. Okay, so in a large frying pan, you're gonna add in about one to one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, and then you're gonna allow that meat to brown. Okay, so we've got our small onion nicely chopped, and we're gonna add this into our ground beef that's frying up here. Slide that in here. Okay, so we're just gonna use this spatula just to break up the ground beef. Uh, we prefer not to have any big chunks in our chili. Um, and then while we're breaking this up here, we're gonna let that brown. And then this should take about five to seven minutes for it to get uh, completely browned. We'll just wait for those onions to saute there in the ground beef. And then we're just going to add a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we'll mix this up. got that nicely mixed up we're just gonna wait for that to saute again here get all those flavors into that ground beef next we're gonna add in a large can of diced tomatoes and now we'll add in our two cans of beans So now we're going to add in a tablespoon of chili powder. You can put in one to two tablespoons depending on how spicy you like it. And because today we are making this for my kids, they like it on the milder side. So we're just adding one tablespoon of the chili powder. And our last ingredient to add in is a teaspoon of salt and then we're just going to allow that to cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, so our chili is just about done here. We're gonna remove that from the heat and your chili is ready to serve. Okay, so there you have it. Our chili is all done. You can either serve the chili plain or you can add some sour cream, shredded cheese, green onions, whatever you prefer. Um, and there you have it. It's such a quick and easy and simple recipe to make for your family. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video